Well, welcome back everyone. Escanaba turns 150 this summer, so they'll be celebrating their sesquicentennial next month. Joining me now is Kay Johnson. She's the co-chair of the uh, Esky 150 events, and uh, it's going to take place July 5th through the 14th. And I glanced at the itinerary, the schedule coming up. There are a lot of things going on. Uh, what are some of the ones that you might want to highlight this morning? Well, there are a lot of things going on. Planning a nine-day celebration with any day you're in Escanaba during the 5th to the 14th, I think you'll enjoy. Um, some of the highlights are uh, we'll have Monday we'll be featuring our waterfront. We'll have a Venetian night and a water ski show with concerts. Friday evening after our evening parade, we have BBC Crest, who's a, a performer from Las Vegas. And Saturday night, we have uh, some wonderful concert with Cat Adams. Cat won Star Search back in the 80s. She's an Escanaba alumni, and she won $100,000. It's kind of like the old American Idol. So we're excited about having Cat. We'll have a Native American cultural presentation. There's going to be all kinds of things, Greg, for kids, kids parades, pet parades, canoe races, bike races, all the way up to senior socials. So we're really excited about all the events coming. It does sound like there is something for everyone. Now you don't have to be from Escanaba to enjoy this. Can I, I can show up, right, and Ab still have a good time? <laughs> Absolutely. We're encouraging all our friends and our neighbors from all over the UP, Northern Michigan, anywhere to come. Um, we have a half marathon, first one in Escanaba, running from Gladstone to Escanaba, and we have over 220 folks running. And as I've seen some of the envelopes coming there as far as California and Florida, lots of folks are coming home to visit mom and dad. And we'd love for all the folks in the UP and northern Michigan anywhere to come and enjoy what what the sesquicentennial has to offer. I did see that you have some reunions coming up. It's a big reunion week too for a lot of people. It's huge. We have two all-class reunions. The Catholic School Holy Name is having one on Saturday evening and our Escanaba High School is having their first all-school reunion on Wednesday and then Friday evening there are at least six reunions um, 10, 20, I'm having mine, I, you can guess which one that is, but we'll have so many reunions. It's gonna be a fun time to have everybody come back to see how, what a great city we have. Uh, everyone we've asked for help has, has said yes. We haven't been denied um, by anyone, so we're really hoping everyone will come pitch in and, and enjoy the celebration. Yeah, with an event of this magnitude, I'm sure you're always looking for volunteers, is that right? And what can you expect these volunteers to do? Well, thanks for asking. That's exactly what we're looking for right now, our volunteers. Anything from manning the information booths, the first aid tents, um, moving the barricades, the traffic barricades. We'll have special handicap parking for folks who have a little bit diff more difficulty. We need a cleanup, folks to clean up. You know, we, we ask that everybody be respectful, but we're going to have a cleanup committee. So we're looking to get about 250 volunteers. They can contact uh, our website, www.esky150.org, uh, or email us at events at esky150.org if right. they're interested. Well, sounds like a great week and wrapping up with fireworks at the very end. Is that right? Fireworks so. on Saturday evening and Sunday we have a, a super big band from Milwaukee coming. Uh, I think uh, our folks are going to enjoy that with a dance floor right at the band shell. All right. Well, thank you very much for joining us this morning. It's Kay Johnson, the co-chair of the Esky 150. Sounds like a great time. Again, that's coming up July 5th through the 14th. Well, when your TV6 morning show continues, we'll be back with TV6's Andrew Lacombe, who is live at Lowe's on your Do It Yourself Wednesday, Wednesday segment. He'll be uh, giving us some grilling tips for the summer. We'll be right back.